mean, I definitely, I, I knew that I wanted to make a big play in Omaha, and uh, personally, I wouldn't say that was the biggest play, but it's, I, I guess it was still cool, but, you know, I want to make, like, a big time, super serious situation catch, but, uh, I mean, if I get the opportunity, great, if not, hopefully that's even better, so. But at the same time, can you, isn't there a case to be made that what you did at the play today was a big deal, and, I mean, not typical? <laughs> I mean, yes and no. I like to think that I'm a good hitter, but, I mean, stats show that I haven't been doing so well. But, uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, it's it's fine. He said your, your dad told me, did your dad tell you that you were going to hit today as well? No. He, I mean, that would have been a nice clue, but, you know, they're going to be mad, though, because I forgot to get him on the ticket list, so I got to... Hopefully two hits this is going to make up for something. So you don't know if they got in? I don't know. I didn't hear my mom yelling today. So when I remembered that I didn't, I forgot, I almost like, almost just took myself out of the game. I was so upset what with myself. What point did you remember? Like 20 minutes before the game started. Oh, my God. Conforto just kept telling me, hey, man, just let it go. Just let it go. We got a game to play. And I'm over there just like biting my lip, just so mad, like, oh, mom and dad are going to kill me. But, you know. So this is your apology to them, was to have this great game. Yeah, so yeah. That you guys, they yeah. can watch you play another one. Yeah, I love you, mom and dad, for getting, you know, <laughs> two, two hits. Hopefully, you know, that, that, hopefully there's a start. Speaking of Michael, he said that uh, you, got, you were really the spark plug today. Um, from top to bottom of the team, it was opportunistic and taking care of the fundamentals. Was that just part of the focus for you guys is intensified before this game? I mean, we just wanted to be aggressive. Um, Louisville's a great ball club, and you know, coming out against them, we, we couldn't get caught on their caught on our heels early, and so we wanted to come out firing and um, you know put the pressure on the defense and you know just uh, just see what we could do. You know, have fun with it. And you're watching them commit all those errors. I mean, you guys have been in that situation. Washington State game comes yeah. to mind. You know how frustrating it is. Yeah. But are you? Is any part of you thinking, man, that sucks? Or are you just like, all right, let's keep them coming. we got to score some runs. I mean, yeah, there's the good and bad to it because, I mean, I've been there. I've been standing in the outfield when you're, you know, watching everything just unravel, like, what is happening? And, you know, you feel bad for those seniors that this is going to be their last day in a Louisville jersey. And um, But, you know, at the same time, in the back of your head, you're like, yeah, you know, because you, you want to win, you know, and everybody here is competitive. Nice. Um, but, yeah, no, that's... That's all I gotta say. Uh, so, I mean, between the catch, the two hits, and then the handstand walk before the game, <laughs> what are you most proud of or impressed with in yourself today? I would say the RBI, the two RBI single, because I've got like what four RBIs this you have five. year? You have five. Five. Okay, I've got seven now. I like tripled it, or whatever the math is. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I think that was the coolest thing because the coach has been harping on me like, hey, you know, you got to get aggressive with runners in scoring position. I finally got that that hit to break the ice that I didn't have to bunt to score somebody. So that was cool.